Hey folks, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I uploaded my last video. Um, I was out on various public speaking events and uh, my engineering exams came about and um, then the new years came around so I just lost track of YouTube. But don't worry, we'll be, we, we will be back with weekly YouTube videos on different topics. And um, during this time we missed out on a lot of cool updates. Um, the Gemini Pro API came out, you had Gemini Pro Vision and you had uh, Google AI Studio. So now um, a short update to give you about all the new changes that have happened basically mega suite has now turned into google ai studio the palm api that we used to use before is now the gemini api which is way more powerful than what the palm api could do and um, we have had we have had a lot of interesting updates inside of maker suite which is now known as google ai studio which is the gemini vision pro so this allows us this is a model that is already there inside of google ai studio that allows us to interact with images and you know you can do a lot of crazy things with it you can send it send images as prompts you can even generate images and there are a lot of interesting things that we can do so let's just get started so here i am in my google ai studio this is what it now looks like where you have your library where you have different types of prompts that you have your free from your data prompt or your text or your chat prompt so basically the names have also been changed if i go to the create new one here Instead of the text prompt, you have a free from prompt and instead of data prompt, you have a structured prompt and the chat prompt stays the same. So what we're going to be doing in this video is creating a living room decoration. We're going to be making, we're going to be giving it some examples and I wanted to ask whether this particular piece of uh, maybe a photo frame or something to decorate your wall will look good in my living room. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll just go ahead and click on create new and I'm going to a free from prompt. I'm going to change this name first and I'm going to give this as living room decoration. I'm going to click on enter. So what I'm going to be doing is first off, let's just look at what all we have on the screen. Here um, on this side, you just have your basic uh, options that you can choose from. So I'm, going to go, I'm just going to close this. After that, you have your run, your run button to test your prompt. All right. You have the preview. You have uh, the token count that you have. They have also increased the token count here. On the right side, which is the most important part, is the model. Now, if I go here and I click on Gemini Pro, this is the best image understanding model to handle a broad range of applications. So we're going to be testing that out today by clicking on Gemini Pro Vision. So here we have changed it. So here you can see it has given me an example here. So I'm just going to tab into it and I'm going to say write a short fun poem inspired by these pictures. There's a coffee cup and then there's a cup of ice cream. So if I click on run, I want to see basically what are the capabilities of Gemini Pro Vision. Here you can see it has successfully generated a poem out of two images. A cup of coffee, a scoop of ice cream, a moment to relax, a chance to dream. So this is how it has used two images. It has accepted images as prompts and it has generated text over it. So now I want to apply my example that we're going to be building today is a living room decoration. So first off, I'm going to be giving it an example saying this is my living room. So I'm going to paste this and say this. I'm going to give it a prompt saying this is my living room. All right. And um, after this, I'm going to be giving it two examples. That's going to be uh, one is a photo frame and one is just a designer plate that you can put on the wall, which will look good. So I'm just going to copy those two images here and I'm going to say, would I'm going to write, would this look good on the wall? Or would the one below? I'm click on enter and I'm going to go and copy the second image that I have that is another plate decoration that is going to be done there and here you can see this is what it looks like so I'm going to be asking it whether which which one of these will look good on my living room and um, if or uh, and I just say give me a proper reasoning for your answer so I get a nice explanation also as to which one of these would look good on my wall. I'm just going to go ahead and click on run now. Here you can see um, just within few seconds it has told me the first option would look better in your living room. 
the neutral colors of the artwork would complement the warm tones of your furniture and flooring xyz so it has given me a proper explanation as to which one would look better on my wall and why and even it it, it has also given me an answer telling me the second option is too busy and colorful for your living room so this is how basically this is a very short example to show you what the gemini pro vision model is actually capable of you can go ahead and adjust the temperatures here you can go to your advanced settings you can adjust the output length and you can do a lot of interesting things with this now what if you want the code for it? What if you're a programmer and you want the code for it? You can just go ahead and click on get code and you can get it in the desired programming language as you want. And even if you go in Python, you can instantly open this up in your Google Colab and then you can start coding. So this video was just to give you a basic introduction to Gemini Pro Vision and what are the capabilities of this particular model. Um, I'm currently working on a course um, that combines Google Bard and Google AI Studio where we'll be um, getting into the depths of it and how to build proper prompts and how to do prompt testing and um, the course will be coming out very soon it, it will be coming on udemy but at the same time i'll be posting some clips of it on youtube as well if you want to get to know about get to know more about the course then i would tell you to leave your email or just put down a comment and um, i'll get in touch with you if you like this video then don't forget to like share and for more content hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next one